All right. Uh, when looking back on their work, a lot of voice actors, they often say, you know, nobody thought that these shows would be around three years from now, five years from now, uh, let alone 30. Uh, but when did you realize that these shows, they just, they weren't going away? That this show that you had done, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, had, had resonated and still had some legs? Well, uh, I think every actor does feel very, very grateful for landing a series because it could go two years, it could go three years, it could last 14 shows. And when we had gone two years with uh, uh, Transformers G1, uh, you know, and it was still going to go, but I wasn't asked back, uh, you know, that was all merchandising. That's all business decisions. That has nothing to do with anything, you know. they. They don't even, back in those days, I don't think they even uh, judged the popularity of a character. They only judged dollars and cents in uh, store uh, shelf merchandise. But uh, the idea of, uh, of uh, getting back into uh, a series, that didn't happen until they announced that they were going to do the movie in 2000 and, uh, Six, was it? Uh, seven? And I found out they were going to do a feature film um, about a year and a half before that. And I said, wow. I go, well, I'd forgotten all about it, you know? I mean, I put it in the back of my head, a job's a job, it's gone, get on with your life, you know, and uh, be a grunt. Well, um, then there was the word out, because the internet had started. And all of a sudden, there's a groundswell of a fan base. And they were injecting their, say, well, you, you'll, your movie you'll never make unless you have Peter Cullen, Frank Welker, you know, as Megatron and Optimus Prime. Still, that wasn't enough. And um, I got a phone call from my agent saying that Michael Bay wants you to come down to Santa Monica to his offices down there and to audition for the role of Optimus Prime. So I said, OK. <laughs> <laughs> The funny part about it was they had a scene between Ironhide and Optimus Prime. Now, Michael Bay knew nothing about the Transformers at all. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> well, that was at the time. That was at the time. Believe me, Still you know, he does, he's a fast study. And he learned a lot. Anyway, he uh, had a young script assistant read Ironhide with Optimus Prime. <laughs> and I grab the paper, I say, honey, I played Optimus, uh, Ironhide and Optimus Prime, I think I can do both these roles. <laughs> <laughs> so Michael Bay sitting out cross, and I'm sitting here, and I started interacting between Optimus Prime and Ironhide. Okay, see you later, bye, bye, bye. A few weeks later, I'm called in to audition again for Optimus Prime, they want to, audition again. Meanwhile, the fan base is just like a locomotive. Boy, they're just going at it. They are just won't let go. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wipe this grin off my face. I've been grinning since I've been here. I can't stop it. I love you guys. <laughs> Trying to wipe the dirt off my face. Yeah. <laughs> there, see the smile? Yeah. You... Smile. Uh, did I answer that question? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I did, uh, you know, I, I, my agent called me. I did get the job. And uh, they were so generous. They gave me $25.60. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Awesome, that's great. Thank you. If anyone has a picture of uh, me hugging him, you can tweet it to at Cheers Ian. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>